Hi, this is Bill. And what we're going to do today is we're going to put a watermark on an Apple Pages document. What I found is I was creating a document on Pages instead of Word. And it, there's a lot of problems. It's better to do all your legal documents on Microsoft Word, the standard, because they have a lot of shortcuts. There is no shortcut to put a watermark draft on a document. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a draft on this document. The first thing we're going to do, since we already have a draft, is we're going to create a blank page at the end of the document. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a text box, and we're going to type in the word draft. Then we're going to make the word as large as you want to make it. Change the opacity. Next, under range, we will change from auto to none. And if you want to, you can change the angle and rotate. With the text highlighted, we will move up to a range. We'll go to section master, move object to section master. That's probably the biggest key. Now you'll see it's on every page in the background. If you want the draft darker, you should be able to just go back on the draft style and increase the opacity. You'll see that this draft is on every page now. So if you go back and just throw away, just delete the last page, which I did. You can see now I deleted the last page and it's on every page. One problem I did have, and I've been playing with this, is underneath images, I have had difficulties bringing it forward. I've gone into a range, but these are blacked out. That's as good as I can do. If you know a solution to these images in the draft on this master or can lead us to a better solution, please put the comments below and we will make an updated product here. One last thing, to get rid of this draft mark, all you have to do is highlight it, hit delete, and it is gone off of every page. 